Hello everyone! DDA Scout 15 implemented the conduit function to be integrated with all cable management systems, but it also changed the way we model the conduit. So in this video I'll give you some tips so you can have the best use of the conduit function. Enjoy! This is the situation. We have a junction box for switch and also for socket in the same alignment close to the doors. And I need to make this 45 degrees bend in order to avoid the clash with the switch junction box. So I will come to 2D, I will remove this conduit and I will start from the ceiling, okay, from this junction box in a suspended ceiling. Um, I have to find the alignment with this junction box connection. So I will make use of the hotkey number four. And then I move my cursor to the snap in the connection of this junction box, right mouse click, and I will make use of this horizontal helpline. Now I press escape key and I can keep working with my conduit. By moving close to this helpline, you will see a projected perpendicular to line. Left click, and now I will use another hotkey, page down, to go down vertically. The absolute Z-pause, I would like to go to the new mounting height of 1 meter. And just press OK. Now it's the time where we make this 45 degrees uh, down, okay? So what we'll do, move your, move your cursor to the center of this connection junction box, okay? So it will lo look like this. My uh, cursor is not connect is not at the center of the, of the junction box, but at the border like this of the connection. Now I will use another hotkey, shift page down, okay? And what we will change is just the angle draw direction. This is the third parameter. You will insert 45 degrees and then you use tab key. All the other parameters will be inserted automatically. Simply click OK. Now we are going to go down again. So page down hotkey and I will just insert the new mounting height in a parameter absolute Z-pause. This is the second parameter. I will type 0.5, like 50 centimeters. Click OK. Now we can move our cursor to the center of this junction box and you will see pop up some connections. Well, I would like to connect to the upper connection of the socket. In this case, it's at the, the height z equal to 0.33 okay click and it's done i will press escape to close the function and let's see the result in 3d this is the result now let's make the same but from the junction box so i will come to this other junction box i will activate the junction fun uh, the conduit function and move to the junction box I will start from this upper connection from, from the socket, so uh, it's z equal to 0.33, it directly opens these collective points to go up, I go up to 0.50, uh, to 0.5, 50 centimeters, click OK. Now I move my cursor where I would like to go up with 45 degrees, okay, so don't click. You just use now the hotkey shift page up. Now we only change the angle draw direction parameter. This is the third parameter in the collect points dialog. 45 tab and all the other um, fields will be filled automatically. Click OK. Now page up key again and we go to the suspended ceiling height. In my case, it's 3.3, sorry, 234. So 3.234, I will click OK. Now I will move, now I will move here. 
and connect to the junction box. I will press escape and see the result in 3D. So this is the result. But imagine that I would like to go up with these 45 degrees with these two bands. To do so, you will click one time, click and then click on the band. Only the band will be selected. Now we have to select the other band. So press and hold control key, select the other band. So it looks like this. The conduit has this light blue and the, uh, the selected bands has this dark blue. You simply have now to use the page up to go up or page down to go down. So I will click, uh, I will press page up and in this relative from position dialog, I will insert uh, 0.2 meters to go up 20 centimeters. And this is done. Would you like to see more videos like this? So subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. And what else would you like to know about the DSCAD? Put it on your comment below and I can make a video for you. Cheers!